Co-creating language, client-centered metaphors with Gina Co and Sandra Collins. So Sandra, last week uh, when we met, we um, landed on that spending time outside with glow in nature, gardening, it really is a core value for you. What micro skill was that? Summarizing. Yeah, I've been thinking about that quite a bit this week. And um, I have been able to spend a little bit more time outside. And that helped me to kind of start to get a little bit more of a sense about um, what it is that draws me to being outside. Um, so what what did you find? What draws you to being outside? Questioning. Well, last week, we talked about um, creativity and work and how my mind kind of races away with ideas, etc. And I think it's this, it's the same core um, process for me with gardening, because it's about, you know, designing the yard, deciding where we're going to put things. Um, we always move things around, we're doing things differently every year. This year we, we had a big pergola built. So we're trying to learn how to grow up vertically instead of, you know, so not running cucumbers along the ground, but growing them up over our heads. So, um, so I think what happens for me, it's kind of like, it's kind of um, two different types of creativity, left brain, right brain almost, but it's the same sort of process um, but one thing that I find is that so when I get stuck in the thinking thing and in the creativity over there, I lose connection to the more right brain, art grounded, gardening, that end of the creativity, I think. So you realize you're missing the, the right brain part of, uh, the, of the creativity that you, you know you have and you enjoy. And now it's more about how to move towards that more. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about, it was helpful for me to sort of figure out that there it's both creativity, but it's a different type of creativity. And that, that when I get kind of racing in my brain, I'm not present in my body. And so for me, the, the garden is more of the, the grounding, body focused, um, you know, your hands are in the dirt. And I don't think when I'm out there, I'm kind of just doing, I'm mm -hmm. kind of just engaged with the plants and that sort of thing. So, so I was trying to come up with some kind of um, like way, like a reminder for myself, like something that's like not an affirmation, but some sort of um, way of thinking about this dilemma that would remind me to move from the, the right brain into the left brain and to pay attention to that. Um, you mean from the left to the right? Clarifying. I so, left, right, sorry. Yeah, sorry. okay. As you're saying, you're sharing with me, Sandra, I thought about something. So when you said grounding, I thought about roots. You know, I'm not a gardener, um, but my, my spouse is. But when you plant something, of course, you, the roots, it's important, right? To have the strong foundation, the strong roots. So I'm curious about, um, and then your values. You, when you say core values, I think of roots as well. What micro skill was that? Summarizing. I'm not sure. Is there something there to do with roots? What micro skill was that? Checking perceptions. That's kind of interesting because as soon as you said that, I kind of thought, yeah, the gardening is like roots in the ground and the um, the work stuff is more like um, clouds in the sky. Mm. You know, I'm sort of, it's sort of like um, I'm looking up and I'm distracted and I could easily walk into things. Um, whereas when I'm in the grounding, I'm more... I have my roots planted in the ground and I'm kind of growing up from that place of, of solidness and groundedness. And I think the creativity is different too in that way, because, you know, in the, in the left brain creativity, it's that, 
you know, like moving around and pulling pieces together and that kind of thing. Whereas the gardening is much more um, start from this little seed mm -hmm. and you know where it's going to go and you're nurturing this little seed and it's, you know, it's delightful to see the tomatoes start to produce and all of that kind of thing. And, but it's, it's more, it's a different kind of creativity and nurturing. Um, so I like that idea of kind of not forgetting about the roots um, mm -hmm. while I, and getting distracted by the clouds. That's kind of an interesting um, because I'm, because I have an artist brain too, it's kind of, I like the visualness of that. And now you're making me think, Sandra, of, I, I know you have an artist brain. Would it be something to, to paint something to remind yourself? Questioning. Yeah. I'm wondering, I just, ah. when you said that I had kind of a, an image in my mind of, yeah, maybe I need to paint something that's kind of, it sits on my desk so that it distracts me away from the clouds. And I, I kind of um, remind myself with that groundedness and that might be for a way for me to kind of begin to, to get a better handle on what's happening for me. And um, yeah, I like that idea. I can see the picture. <laughs> and, and funny enough, I can also see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What micro skill was that? Self-disclosing. Yeah, that's very helpful. Thanks. Okay, so um, next time we we meet again, we'll, uh, we'll check up on that. Yeah, maybe you'll have something to start to show me in terms of the painting. What micro skill was that? Providing transparency. Yeah, maybe. Oh.